Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 12 homework. So let's get started. Number one, circle the figures that have a correct line of symmetry drawn. Alright, so the symmetry lines are like shapes that are split like with lines and both sides are equal. So A, we see like the symmetry line, this dotted line here. And both sides are equal. They have same amount of corners, sides, so this is symmetrical. Now for B, you can obviously see that the bottom half is way bigger than the top. And the top, it's like pointy, but the bottom is different. So this is not symmetrical. See the heart straight down the middle, that's symmetrical. And D, it's obviously not symmetrical because both sides, they're not equal. <coughs> Alright, number two, find and draw all lines of sy symmetry for the following figures. Write the number of lines of symmetry that you found in the blank underneath the shape. Alright, so A, if you go from right to left, left to right, it's not really symmetrical. And you can't go diagonally, so the only thing you can do here is just straight down the middle. So that would be one um symmetrical one symmetry line b this is a square a square would usually have more than one that's one two and half and three diagonally because it's like a triangle on both sides which is equal and then four so we have four symmetrical lines c all right this is this has eight sides. So we have one, actually, two, three, oh, they're really equal, four, three, five, where is this? Six, seven, and three, eight. So we have eight symmetrical lines. <coughs> All right, D. Let's see. Right down the middle, one. And we're drawing these lines because the lines we're drawing, both sides, they would be equal. They would be equal. And this would be one. Oh, two. Because if you turn the page, it's kind of like the same shape again, right down the middle. And then this one would be two. Three, four, and five. So we have five symmetrical lines. All right, E can't really do anything because if it's straight down the middle, this wouldn't be symmetrical because this little fold would have to be up here. And you can't do it side to side either. So really, this would have zero symmetrical lines. And F, obviously, that's zero. For G, so you straight down the middle. Straight <coughs> down the middle. And honestly, we can do side to side too because they both have an arrow. So that's two symmetrical lines for G. And for H, there's really nothing much but just down the middle because it's on both sides. So that's one symmetrical line. And on I, we could do one. That's just like that. That's one symmetrical line. Okay, turn out wonky. Alright, next page. Alright, so number three. Half of each figure below has been drawn. Use the line of symmetry represented by the dashed line to complete each figure. Alright, so what do we know about symmetrical shapes? So they're equal on both sides. So what we need to do, we need to just draw the thing, the shape we have so far on the opposite side. So here, opposite side must be equal. So we have a long line, another line, and last line. So these are equal, so they're symmetrical. For B, <clears throat> we have to draw what we see already. We see a line here and an even longer line over here. And we have this 
third line. Just gonna do that. So that will complete the shape. For C, we have a triangle. So we need to draw an upside down triangle, basically. Just draw what you see. All right, and for D, just so need to draw the opposite direction. Kind of like that. See it kind of going in. And then you see it like that. And put it back in. So this would be D. Now number four says, is there another shape that has the same number of lines of symmetry as a circle? Explain. So a circle has an infinite number of symmetrical symmetry lines because the diameter or the radius of every point would be the same. Like we could have so, we could have so many different lines. There's so much, but no other shape would have an infinite amount of symmetry, lines of symmetry. So, no, no, because a circle, oh, well, let's have spelling, circle has an infinite amount of lines of symmetry and no other shapes have infinite lines. So that's pretty much the reasoning. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!